T.H. Cohen for Solar Cities, and we're on our way to Suterbine Echo Village, and we have Camus over here who just came to pick us up. Very nice of you, thank you, Camus. Hey. And uh, Robert over there who we've been traveling with on the ferry who started this wonderful Echo Village, and it's an incredible place. It's in Gotland, an island off the coast of Sweden, where everything's run on biogas. And if you don't believe me, take a look at this here. This says Biogas Gotland. That is the place where you fill it, where you uh, purchase your biogas. And then over here at the pump, Biogas Scotland. And there it is. There's the gas pump. And I've never seen anything like this before, but it uh, plugs right in the same way that you put, say, a regulator on a scuba tank. And pop, in it goes. And then you start to fill it. And uh, there it is. And it'll tell you how many cronins once he puts in his credit card there. It's a very high-tech system. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, look at this secret thing. So um, we've uh, we just um, come. You can actually see that the ga the car itself says biogas bill. And um, I guess is this is did you put that on there? Does the car yeah, actually? We had it put on there in cooperation with a national organization called Biogas Academy. Uh -huh. Started by a very uh, enthusiastic. An enthusiastic doctor called Jan Rapp okay. who sort of put his medicine to the side and said biogas is the thing. Biogas is the thing. And, and it's specifically biogas cars. I get to push this button. Push oh, this start. button. Oh, here we go. Oh. It's 3.4 Kronen per kilogram. This is the, the kroners, uh -huh. this is how much it's going to cost, this is how many kilos it's putting in, this is your price per kilo, and this is the equivalent yeah, of the kroners per liter, liter. Oh. which is just a sticker. Right. How interesting. And it's one kilo of biogas is equivalent of 1.43 liters of, of gasoline. So basically we're looking at then, if it's, oh this is the equivalency, I see. This is what it would be per if it was a liquid compared to a liter of ga of benzene is what it would be here. And how does that compare price wise? I mean, I don't know what the price of benzene is I here. Mean, it's very close. To the Similar price. Okay, so you're not at a cost disadvantage to use it, and of course, it burns completely clean, and it's made from what many people consider garbage. Well, garbage. Well, one of the sources on the other side of the street is the municipal sewage plant. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's the combined population of Gotland helping there. Or Making your contribution every time you sit down. it comes from the big industrial biogas plant, which is about 10 kilometers in that direction, and they're feeding it pig manure, carrots, other agricultural waste mixed in a nice blend. Mm -hmm. So between so-called human manure or human so-called wastes and animal and vegetable uh, uh, so-called wastes, you have this completely clean fossil-free fuel that we know very well from our work at home. But this is the first time that I have been in a biogas-fueled vehicle. So this is a, a wonderful event for, for me, a landmark in all of my years working with and living with biogas to actually be in a biogas-powered car. And when you drove away, it was very smooth, so obviously yeah. there's no performance difference, there's no difference. There's at no all. Difference. People always ask that. Is there a performance difference? Does it knock? Does it thing? No, it just drives. Now, I've been in natural gas, so-called natural gas, fossil natural gas vehicles in Brazil and in, um, in uh, um, Slovakia and in Hungary. Uh, and also in Egypt. So I'm sort of familiar with natural gas, and that's what this basic is. This is just chemically it's the same, but there's no imported natural gas here. Sweden has no natural gas. Huh. Everything on the island is really biogas, and in fact, the, the, like, the city network of Stockholm is the majority of gas in that network is biogas. In Stockholm it's all. Wow. That's buses and trucks yes. and taxis. Yes. Sweden has no natural supply of natural gas. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe there's some from coming from Norway, but otherwise it's Sweden's original biogas, basically. And Sweden has never been connected to the, like, the Russian big grid, right, which the rest of Europe is connected to. So remember how Trump was criticizing the Germans and going, well, you taught this whole climate thing, but uh, you're all dependent on Russia for your gas. And so the Russian gas pipeline uh, Nord Stream passes by the island, and actually the pipes 
were actually stored on the island to make the pipe between Russia and Germany, but Sweden is not connected to it. Fantastic. Okay, so this is a very simple thing. We just take it and push in or a bit more push your lever thing. all the way down. Oh, I see. Oh, then. And then okay. Pull off. Just pull straight off. And pull straight off. And then here and do a reverse motion. And push this up. Yeah. And lock yes. it on. Wow, and so what did you end up paying? 289 Kronen. That's about $30, roughly, isn't it? Yeah. So about $30 for a fill up. And to know that you're driving away and the snow behind this vehicle will always stay pristine snow white because not only is there no, um, there, there, there's no uh, toxins coming out, there isn't any soot or particulate matter and hardly any carbon monoxide. There's, so it's, it's just carbon dioxide and water vapor. And so unlike other cars where you would see the snow on the back being all black, Look at how white and pristine that snow is. That's also how wonderfully healthy your lungs are if you're standing next to a biogas-powered car when it's running. And he's going to turn on the engine. I just want to stand here for a second when he turns on the engine. Where is the exhaust? Underneath, maybe? And uh, here, here. there's certainly... Aha! Uh -huh. So there is no smell at all. You can stick your nose in this exhaust and let it waft up, and there's just no... Wow. I can see the water vapor, but there's no smell at all. So coming live at you from Gotland Island in Sweden on our way to the Sudebarnecker village, I'm T.H. Colhane for Solar Cities. Please join us because, yes, you too can do this in your home community.